Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. By the way, I am Eduardo Golfan and to this video, let's talk about this thing function. So to give you an idea, guys, let me show you this sample. So employee list and as you can see, Edsel John Golfan and also the last record is Edsel John Golfan. So meaning to say, this is a duplicate records or a duplicate value. So we will remove this. So how to remove? Let us use the this thing function. So close this. And now let's go to create menu, then select this query design, and we will select this employee, employee table. And we will drag down all the records, and let us see, still, Edsel Jan is there. So going back to the design, now let us click this property sheet. So, take note this one guys, unique values, so we will change this to yes. Now, click run. Here we go. Let us find the Edsel Jan. So, only, only one Edsel Jan. So, from seven records, it gives us six records. So, the duplicate value is being removed. So, another sample. Back to no. And then, I will use the last name. So, seven records. But if we change this to yes, or else, if we really love to type in the SQL script, like here, let us type this thing, and then click run. Here we go. From seven records, it gives us four records. Now, I'll give you uh, another sample using the form. So this one, guys. So we have without this thing, which is the combo box, and also this one with this thing. So what's the difference between two combo boxes? So here, for example, uh, let us type this or let us search this Waller. So if we type Waller, so there's nothing special. It did not give us the result. While this one, guys, here, if we type this one Waller, wa Ler, wrong spelling. Waller. Oh, sorry, that one. H. Okay, this one. It will give us the result, or it will automatically filtered according to uh, this one, the letters. So, for example, another E dot M. Okay. So, it gives us a hint. So, how to set the distinct? In this combo boxes so let's go to design view right click and then for this one so right click also property sheet here in under the data resource for select let us type this thing okay and here we go per view so let us type like for example waller okay this one or Yafa. Wrong spelling. Okay, this one. So, this is the benefits of using this same function, guys. So, I think you like this video. It helps you a lot. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, uh, please give us a favor. Please do subscribe. And that's all, guys. Thank you. And see you to my next video.